In 1969, the confirmation of significant oil reserves in the Norwegian sector of the North Sea initiated a period of profound economic transformation. This event did not precipitate an uncontrolled boom, but rather a meticulously planned, long-term strategic recalibration of the nation's economy. The discovery was treated not as a short-term revenue source, but as a foundational asset for securing future national stability. Norwegian policymakers implemented a disciplined framework to manage the influx of petrodollars, establishing a sovereign wealth fund with the explicit objective of mitigating inflationary pressures and preserving capital for subsequent generations. This system was designed to convert a finite geological resource into a permanent financial endowment. By the early 21st century, the effectiveness of this strategy was unequivocal. The geopolitical disruption caused by Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine in 2022 created unprecedented volatility in global energy markets. For Norway, this resulted in a dramatic surge in oil and gas revenue, which reached approximately $125 billion that year, a five-fold increase from the preceding year. These revenues were systematically channeled into the nation's sovereign fund, the Government Pension Fund Global. Norway's growing 1.7 trillion dollar oil empire. Government Pension Fund of Norway. By 2025, the fund's assets had surpassed $1.7 trillion, solidifying its status as the largest of its kind in the world. This financial strength was the direct outcome of a decades-long policy, prioritizing long-term stewardship, technological precision in extraction, and rigorous regulatory oversight. This approach fostered a national institutional capability focused on sustained strategic resource management. However, this prosperity was intrinsically linked to hydrocarbons, a resource class facing increasing global pressure due to climate change initiatives and the accelerating momentum toward decarbonization. As international policy and technological innovation began to favor a post-petroleum economy, a strategic imperative emerged for Norway. Identify a new economic anchor capable of replacing the long-term role of oil and gas exports. The solution would not be found in another energy commodity, but in a pivot toward the strategic materials sector specifically, the inputs essential for global food security and the green energy transition. Central to this emerging materials economy is phosphate, a mineral resource formed over geological timescales. Its strategic importance is twofold. Approximately 90% of all mined phosphate is processed into fertilizers, forming a critical component of the global agricultural system that underpins food production for billions. Phosphorus is found in our food, which helps keep us healthy. It can be found in other products from soft drinks to toothpaste. A disruption in its supply chain would have immediate and severe consequences for crop yields worldwide. Beyond agriculture, refined phosphate is an indispensable material in modern technology, serving as a key component in lithium iron phosphate, LFP batteries, semiconductors, and solar panels. The global distribution of high-grade phosphate rock reserves is highly concentrated, creating significant geopolitical leverage for a small number of nations. Morocco holds the world's largest reserves, estimated at 50 billion tons. Following Morocco are China, with approximately 3.8 billion tons, Egypt with 2.8 billion tons, Tunisia with 2.5 billion tons, and Russia with an estimated 2.4 billion tons. In contrast, the European Union possesses negligible domestic reserves, rendering its agricultural and high-tech industrial sectors almost entirely dependent on imports from this limited pool of suppliers. Recognizing this acute vulnerability, the European Union officially designated phosphate as a critical raw material. This classification underscores its economic necessity and signals a high-level strategic concern over the security of its supply. The stability of European food systems and its ambitions for a low-carbon industrial base are directly tied to the reliable availability of this single resource. By 2021, global supply chains for critical minerals entered a period of increasing strain. China, the world's dominant producer and processor of a wide range of strategic materials, began to implement more protectionist policies. This shift was executed through the progressive tightening of export quotas, a move designed to secure its own domestic food supply and insulate its burgeoning advanced technology industries from external market shocks. 
Between 2021 and 2025, these restrictions were incrementally intensified, leading to a cumulative reduction in outbound phosphate volumes of nearly 60% compared to pre-restriction levels. Concurrently, the imposition of international sanctions on Russia following its invasion of Ukraine effectively removed another major supplier from the European market. The cumulative effect was the severe constriction of a previously stable supply flow into a highly contested and unreliable trickle. The economic consequences were felt across multiple sectors. In agriculture, the rising cost of phosphate-based fertilizers compressed profit margins for farmers. In the industrial sector, manufacturers of batteries and electronics faced extended lead times and were forced to undertake complex and costly reconfigurations of their procurement strategies. For European policymakers, the challenge evolved from a question of price management to one of strategic survival. The continent's stringent environmental regulations and land use protections posed significant barriers to developing new domestic mining operations. The strategic imperative became the identification of a new, large-scale source of phosphate that was not only geographically accessible and politically stable, but also capable of operating in compliance with Europe's uncompromising environmental and climate standards. The focus of this search turned to the Rogaland region in southwestern Norway, an area characterized by its pastoral landscapes. Beneath this unassuming surface, the Anglo-Norwegian firm Norgi Mining initiated a systematic geological exploration program. Utilizing seismic mapping and core drilling techniques, geologists began a meticulous process of assessing the region's subterranean structure. The operation required a synthesis of expertise derived from Norway's offshore oil and gas industry, particularly its emphasis on operational safety and precision engineering with the necessities of onshore exploration including securing landowner permissions and minimizing environmental impact. Over a period of months, drilling teams extracted rock cores that provided a vertical history of the area's geology. Initial analyses were promising, revealing mineralized zones consistent with valuable ore bodies. As the volume of data grew, it became apparent that the discovery was not a minor, localized deposit, but a vast, previously unidentified geological province. The scale of the mineralization indicated a find of potentially strategic significance for the entire European continent. Labrador's rotary analysis of the rock cores confirmed the presence of deep, extensive seams of high-quality phosphate ore. In addition to phosphate, the geological formation was found to be rich in two other critical minerals, titanium, essential for the aerospace and defense industries, and vanadium, a key element in large-scale grid storage batteries. In June 2023, Norge Mining publicly announced the formal assessment of the discovery. The Rogaland deposit was estimated to contain approximately 70 billion tons of phosphate ore. This single find effectively doubling the world's previously known reserves, which stood at a global total of around 71 billion tons. The announcement fundamentally altered the global strategic map for critical minerals. Until that point, the phosphate market had been dominated by Morocco and China, creating a duopoly that exerted significant influence over global food and technology supply chains. The Rogaland deposit presented a viable alternative. A massive, high-grade source located within Europe, governed by a stable, rules-based democracy and poised to operate under the world's most stringent environmental regulations. The potential value of the in-ground resources was estimated to be as high as $24 trillion. This discovery occurred within a national context, uniquely prepared to capitalize on it. For over three decades, Norway had been laying the groundwork for a post-oil economy. In 1990, the country implemented a carbon tax, creating a long-term policy signal that incentivized industrial efficiency and clean technology. This policy framework drove significant innovation in the oil and gas sector itself, leading to the electrification of offshore platforms using hydropower transmitted from the mainland, a major engineering feat that substantially reduced the carbon footprint of extraction operations. Domestically, Norway has become a global leader in the transition to electric mobility. 
By April 2025, fully electric vehicles constituted 97% of all new car sales, facilitated by a national grid powered almost entirely by renewable sources. Hydropower accounts for approximately 90% of the country's electricity generation, providing a vast and reliable source of clean energy. This gives Norwegian industry a significant competitive advantage in the production of low carbon materials. Furthermore, Norway has developed world-leading expertise in carbon capture and storage CCS. Over the past 30 years, approximately 25 million tons of carbon dioxide have been injected and permanently stored in geological formations beneath the North Sea. Current initiatives such as the Longship and Northern Lights projects are designed to scale this capability, creating a commercial service to store industrial emissions imported from across Europe. The strategic plan for the Rogaland deposit is not merely extraction, but the creation of a fully integrated, low-carbon value chain. This entails mining operations conducted with advanced environmental safeguards, the construction of state-of-the-art refineries to produce high-purity phosphoric acid for LFP batteries, and the manufacturing of next-generation fertilizers. The global market for LFP batteries alone is projected to expand from $10 billion in 2021 to nearly $50 billion by 2028. Norway is positioned to compete in this market not on price alone, but on the verifiable sustainability and transparency of its production process. Norgi Mining has committed to integrating CCS technology throughout its processing operations, aiming to create a production system with a minimal or even net negative negative carbon footprint. The timeline for this strategic pivot is ambitious. The Norwegian government and Norge Mining are targeting the commencement of initial production by 2028. The objective is to rapidly establish a secure and reliable supply chain for European industry, reducing its dependency on supply from China and other politically volatile regions. If the full scale of the deposit is confirmed through further exploration, it represents a historic opportunity for Norway to transition its economic base. European automakers, battery manufacturers, and agricultural producers could source their most essential raw materials from a proximate, stable, and environmentally responsible partner. For half a century, oil revenues secured Norway's economic prosperity. The Rogaland discovery provides the foundation for a new and potentially more sustainable economic model. It offers the nation an opportunity to leverage its accumulated financial capital, technological expertise, and renewable energy resources to become a global leader in the supply of critical minerals. The successful execution of this plan would not only redefine Norway's role in the global economy, but also set a new international standard for how essential resources can be extracted and processed in a decarbonizing world. It represents a fundamental shift from an economy based on hydrocarbons to one built on the materials required to feed the planet and power the energy transition.